Good evening, everybody. Jason here from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, with the next installment of 100 Days of Gaming. 100 Days of Gaming is part of Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. If you'd like to play games and heal kids, go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free and then start collecting pledges from your friends, family, and co-workers so you can play games for 24 hours straight on November 2nd and all the pledges go towards your local children's hospital. For uh, Extra Life is a great way to play games and heal kids. Everybody wins. And I've been part of Extra Life now for seven years and I'm playing games to help raise money for the kids at the Alberta Children's Hospital that helps, uh, that, that helps out over 100,000 sick and injured children every year. And Extra Life is a great way to have a lot of fun by doing a lot of good. Last year in 2018, over 50,000 participants in 107 countries helped over 10 million kids at 170 children's hospitals across Canada and the US by raising over $13.48 million. All right, so we're doing Extra Life to help make, uh, whether we're doing 100 Days of Gaming to help make Extra Life even bigger and better than ever before. So if you'd like to sign up or learn more, go to www.extra-life.org. Uh, but now, since that today is the 30th anniversary of the launch of the Sega Genesis in North America, I'm taking another pause from my Final Fantasy VII playthrough and going to play some Sonic CD. Yeah, I've only played just a couple of the Sonic games before, and I was a Nintendo kid, I'll admit that. Uh, so let's see how I fare. Okay, I took a quick look at the game right before going live, uh, just to make sure everything was all set up right. Actually, I took a quick look at the game just when I was uh, starting up. I just wanted just to... Anyway. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is that I am just uh, going to I'm just gonna gonna go right ahead and start. I already watched the opening cinematic, so I'll just see if I can skip my way through that. Play Sonic, and here we go. Here we go! Whoops! <laughs> I hit by the first bad guy right out of the gate. That's not good. Okay. Yes, yeah, I said in the intro, even though I was Nintendo kid, one thing I know, you gotta go fast! Let's go really fast! Oh, achievement unlocked! 88 miles per hour! Oh! I knew, I know that there was a time travel element involved. So let's go... Yeah, I do know that... You know, as part of the plot, there's a potential future where, where Eggman, or Dr. Robotnik, depending on how you roll, has taken over the future, so... Well, in many cases, you're not, in, you're not involved with the Sonic games with a plot. Whoops. Ouch. Uh, I think we're stuck. Oh. 
Okay, now, just a little bit of housekeeping as, as, I, as I've got going. If you're watching, I'm actually trying using Restream in order to try to resolve some technical difficulties uh, that I've had with, with app. So if you're watching this on Twitch, sorry that I can't see the chat room right now. So... So again, if you're watching this on Twitch, if I am, in fact, broadcasting on Twitch, if it is working fast, I'm sorry that I can't see... Uh, the chat room right now. But you can come chat with me on Mixer if you want. Mixer.com slash Jernminer. Well, that sets up a loop. Yeah, I think how the time warp works is that you've got to get going really fast in order to trigger the loop. Right now, just right now I have just an eye on it. Is that Sega Genesis Mini? Uh, I know that it's not out yet, but I did see that a couple of reviews have actually started. At least previews have started hitting the hitting the net today. Maybe just just to time it with the with the Genesis 30th anniversary here in North America. Yeah, I guess that I have an I have an NES Classic and I have an SNES Classic. Uh, I. I did actually pre-order a PlayStation Classic, but then it started getting all the bad reviews, so I returned it. So, I'm actually keeping an eye on the... on the Sega Genesis Classic. I think I'll... I think I'll send, send some of the stories about the Genesis Classic to my new brother-in-law, because he said he was a Sega kid, so... I'll just keep an eye out on eye out to that one. Oh jeez! I stuck. I stuck. I think I stuck. I'm stuck! Oh jeez. If only this game timed out like in uh, like in Mario games. I think I'm gonna have to. I'm actually gonna. I'm actually gonna bail on that. I'm actually gonna going to restart this level. Let's try that again. Dark future. Ouch. 
In dark future where you're attacked by butterflies. noticed about the Sonic games, but one thing is actually plainly obvious to everybody else is how sometimes if you hit the obstacles in just the right way, the game essentially plays itself. You get many points you get flips. Oh, once you get going so fast. Sonic Neo fight play here. some anim robot animals are supposed to jump out of there because does doesn't Dr. Eggman use those as his power source for his animals? I, I do know a another power source for his robots. I admit I do I admit I do know a tiny bit about Sonic lore, but Great now, Amy's following me around. Oops! Dang. <laughs> okay, Jason, do not hit those spikes. Spikes, bad. Be <laughs> even better. Here we go. 
there's all that, that self work can come very easily be traps. You just don't press anything. Pixel perfect accuracy. This whole, this whole stage is like one, one big, big pinball machine. Uh, to, uh, to get out of here. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, there was a hidden passage. Oh, I'll hit there instead. All right. said I am not very good at Sonic. Again, 80s Nintendo kid talking here. Okay, guess I can't, guess I can't spin my way through there. down there. Whoop. I need more rings. Let's uh, jump there. Wait a minute. I think I can do it. I think I can do a time warp if I can just hit that sign. Time warp! Hope I do, don't get stuck inside the architecture this time. Okay, again, I'm just trying out uh, doing doing a restream. Uh, so if you are watching this on Twitch, sorry, but I can't see the chat room. If you can watch me on Mixer at mixer.com slash jernniner, uh, then you'll be able to chat with me there if you want. This game 
is so colorful. <laughs> Some can't really make out what's going on. down there if I pop half of the bobbles. Did I say bobbles? <laughs> well, I kind of always like bubble bobble. Oh, ah, but you get to drop on me! Let's see where I end up. Okay, those are platforms. Watch out for the hungry ground. Get no chaos emerald this time. Oh, 
Oh, that's a dirty trick. Okay, I'm trying to get the vibe that this is this is a boss zone. Got a one up. Okay, just gotta just. Uh, those flippers as a jump. I know no rig's bad. Get back here, Robotnik! Okay, now that and now that we're here at the next zone, this sounds a lot like a good time for a station break. Uh, you watch me play Sonic CD as part of Extra Life's 100 Days of Gaming. 100 Days of Gaming is part of, well, Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. Do you want to play games and heal kids? Go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free and then start playing and then start collecting pledges from your friends, family, and coworkers so that you can play games for 24 hours straight on November 2nd. And all the money that gets pledged to you goes to your local children's hospital to help out sick and injured kids in your community. I've been part of Extra Life for seven years now, and I've been playing games to help raise money for the Alberta Children's Hospital right here in Calgary. It helps out over 100,000 sick and injured kids every year. And Extra Life is a, is a great way to have lots of fun. Play games, heal kids, uh, it's all right there in the name. You, you help kids in your community with the power of gaming. And we're doing 100 days of, days of gaming to help make Extra Life even bigger and better than ever before, and it does just keep getting bigger. Last year in 2018, over 50,000 participants in 107 countries helped over 10 million kids at 170 children's hospitals across Canada and the U.S. by raising over $13.48 million. So those numbers just keep, just keep going up and up and up. So we need you to make it even bigger than before. So, if you'd like to know more about Extra Life, or if you'd like to sign up yourself, uh, go to www.extra-life.org. Okay, but now, uh, let's get back uh, to Sonic CD. Okay, this is looking positively grimdark. Oh, underwater level. Even somebody like me, with my very little experience with Sonic, knows all too well about the, about the horrors of the, of the underwater levels. All too well that if I'm not careful, I'll drown really fast. I'm out of here.
Believe it, I know you gotta hit one of those air bubbles so that you can breathe. Gotta hit it just right. Yes. All right, scored a one up. Nice. Water level's rising. Ouch, and I got uh, crushed by the ceiling. Okay, let's try that again. Ouch. Game over. Well, I did say early on I was a Nintendo kid, so... A bit of uncharted territory here.
Stage complete. Boss 
Or maybe that's not how you're supposed to do it. Okay, let's try that again. Pretty 
trick putting an, putting an enemy right there on your flight path. I'll bet I'm missing lots of stuff here, but hey, this is the first time I've ever played Sonic CD. Oh, 
game did not work out. Okay, if I hit the side, I go boom. If I hit that thing he's dropping on me, I go boom. Okay, there has to be a way to beat him in this level. Try it again. boss battle, it's just a question of survival. No real tactics or anything. Oh. As long as I got one good ring, I'm good. Yep, that's right, you look great. Yeah, I'm coming for you. Yeah, that's right, you run. Alright, beat the zone. Okay, and actually, excuse me, actually I see by the clock on the wall that that's now uh, one hour for me, and so uh, that's, yeah, so it looks like that, that is my time for now. Thank you for watching me play Sonic CD as part of 100 Days of Gaming. 100 Days of Gaming is part of Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. If you want to play games and heal kids? Go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free and then start collecting pledges to go towards your local children's hospital. And then once you've collected uh, all those pledges from your friends, family, and co-workers, you then get to play games for 24 hours straight. And this year, the big day is November 2nd. 
or it could be whatever day is good for you, uh, whatever time is good for you, if streaming is good for you, it's everybody is welcome here at X-Life, because at X-Life, you play games and heal kids. And X-Life just keeps getting bigger and better than ever before. Uh, because last year in 2018, over 50,000 participants in 107 countries helped over 10 million kids at 170 children's hospitals across Canada and the U.S. by raising over $13.48 million. And this is my seventh year in Extra Life, and I'm playing games to help raise money for the Alberta Children's Hospital right here in Calgary that helps over 100,000 sick and injured kids every year. And Extra Life is a great way to have a lot of fun and do a lot of good at the same time. So... If you want to learn more about Extra Life, or if you'd like to sign up yourself, go to www.extra-life.org. Or, if you'd like to support me in my own fundraising efforts, you'll find a link to my fundraiser page in the link below. Well, thanks for tuning in uh, for me for, for my playthrough of Sonic CD tonight. Uh, so, and yeah, so this was a playthrough of a Sega game, because today is the 30th anniversary of the Sega Genesis launch in North America. And I was a Nintendo kid, so I thought I'd see how the other half lived. Uh, but tomorrow, I should be getting back uh, to my Final Fantasy VII playthrough. So, I'll, so that's all for now. Good night, and remember, as always, it's for the kids. That is funny.